What's up affordable army folks? I uh, got another gun for you today. This one is the Kimber Custom 2. What a beautiful, beautiful gun. It's a 1911, 45 ACP. Uh, and we're gonna talk about it. So, as I mentioned in, in my uh, Rock Island Armory video, go check out Rider's Range because he's doing an awesome video series on affordable 1911s and go read his blog about how you can afford a gun like this one or even maybe a nicer one than this one. So without further ado, let's get into talking about the Kimber Custom 2. Okay, so here we are at the bench with the Kimber Custom 2. As always, we'll start with price and affordability. I have seen this gun for an average price of about $800, uh, 799 you know, plus tax or whatever. That's the usual going price for it. Uh, I've seen it for as low as $729, I think, um, or $750. Um, I price matched this gun when I bought it. I bought it at Academy, uh, and I saw it at a another local shop um, for for seven thirty nine, I believe, and uh, Academy price matched it for me, so I bought it. Um, the reason I bought it there was I shopped there a lot. I knew the manager. Uh, he was he was really uh, I don't, I don't want to say a friend, but he was he was really good to me, and so I decided I wanted to buy from him. Um, so yeah, got a good deal on it. Uh, but going price about eight hundred dollars. I want to take a second and show you what comes in the box with this gun. What are you getting for your eight hundred dollars? Uh, this is not an unboxing because this is not a new gun. I've had it for quite some time, but I just kind of wanted to show you what you're getting. So obviously you get this nice hard shell case. That's pretty cool. A lot of manufacturers are moving away from that. Um, there's a plastic bag. Plastic bag that says Kimber. Uh, here is a chamber plug. This was the tag that was on it. Here's your manual. Pretty nice manual. Look at that. Anyway, but underneath here, it's got all kinds of goodies. Look at this. So here you've got an advertisement for some accessories. You've got a registration card. You've got conversion kits, so that's pretty cool. I actually didn't know that they had 22 conversion kits for this gun. That's pretty neat. Um, this is what I thought was really cool. They include a bushing wrench for taking it down. That is awesome. I already have a bushing wrench, so I probably won't ever use this, but I think it's cool that they included that. Here's your standard lock. It even says Kimber on it. Um, they gave you a small sample of oil, a discount on your NRA membership, and some lubrication instructions. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just wanted to show you some of the things that Kimber went out of their way to include with your purchase. Uh, it also came with one magazine. Uh, don't think it was this one. But it, it came with one magazine and I was like, come on, Kimber. For $800, you can get me two magazines. Capacity, uh, it's your standard capacity uh, 1911. It's a full-size 1911, so seven or eight rounds. This is an eight-round magazine. Um, yeah, 45 ACP 1911. That's pretty much what you're going to get, eight rounds or even seven rounds, depending on the magazine that you have. So there's that. Accuracy. This gun is very, 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 very accurate. Um, actually, pretty much all 1911s that I've ever shot have been really accurate guns. Uh, so I, I don't know that this one is any exception. It's not like especially more accurate than another 1911 or something, but. Uh, it's a very accurate shooting gun, and I'll roll in some footage of me shooting it so you can see just that. Alright, I'm going to be shooting the Kimber Custom 2 1911. Here we go.
Pretty dang good. I like it. Okay, so there you have it. The Kimber shot a pretty good group uh, from seven yards and had no issues with reliability whatsoever. So overall, I have to say, really good job, Kimber. It's a great gun. All right, on to reliability. This gun has been very reliable. I have to say, the manual says to shoot 500 rounds for a break-in period, and it says to clean it every 50 rounds or after each shooting session. So. I went with the after every shooting session because sometimes I shot 50 rounds through it, sometimes I put 100 through it, um, you know, it varied. So uh, it, I, I'm definitely past the 500 round break-in period and I also definitely have not experienced any issues with this gun. So very, very happy about that. Um, yeah, reliability, very good. Moving on, we've got ergonomics and feel. So, uh, uh, 1911s, you know, they have a definite feel to them. They've got this, this grip angle here that's, I mean, you either like it or you don't. I happen to f think that it feels really good. As far as the ergonomics of this particular gun, uh, it's got some interesting features and it also lacks some features. So let's talk about that for a second. Uh, it has front slide serrations which uh, most most 1911s probably don't have that, so that's interesting. Um, and the uh, rear serrations there are very nice. They're very easy to grab a hold of, and I can, you know, rack it. The magazine's in it, so very easy to rack. Um, the controls are very nice. You see on the top of the safety here, you've got... Uh, some serrations on it, so it's very easy to manipulate the safety. Uh, I don't know if that's an extended safety or not, but for me it works out just fine. The uh, hammer here is skeletonized, and if you wanted to manually cock it, it's very easy because it also has those serrations on there. Uh, the sights are actually removable kind of nice but it came with Novak style three dot sights so this is ramped so you won't be doing any one-handed manipulations with it most likely but um, I mean if you don't like these sights it's, it's dovetailed get some new ones probably fairly easy to find a different set of sights especially if you want this to be uh, a carry gun or a home defense gun you're probably gonna want to put night sights on it so, standard uh, three dot white sights and the grips. Uh, I'm not too fond of these grips, at least um, er, at least ergonomically. Uh, this half right here is smooth, and this half right here is textured, and it's the same on this side. The front half is textured, and the back 
half is smooth. I, I mean, looks wise, it's beautiful. I mean, just look at it with the, the two tone here with the, the dark colored slide and the stainless frame with the classic wood style of grips. I mean, it's just a beautiful gun in general, but ergonomically, uh, I'm not sure that that's a good choice. So uh, I would probably put some different grips on it if this was going to be a gun you're going to use regularly. For me, it's not, and we'll get into that here in a little bit. Moving on, uh, we've got nothing on the front straps here. It is smooth. There's no serrations or checkering or anything. And that kind of sucks. For $800, I would think they would put some sort of checkering there. And they just did not. So, boo on you, Kimber. Um, the back strap has checkering, or the mainspring housing here, I guess. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. That um, That's definitely got some checkering to it. But, again where your thumb is going or where where you're gripping the gun it's smooth this beaver tail grip safety is just it's smooth there's i mean i don't have any problems putting my hand on there and pressing that safety but i just would think that there would be some texturing there i don't know i like the extended beaver tail though it's it looks nice i just don't know how functional that is without there being any grip on it so uh, there's also on the uh, takedown lever, uh, the slide stop, slide release also has some texturing on it as you can see right there. So it is uh, not an ambidextrous safety, it's only on the one side so keep that in mind. Alright, on to trigger press, trigger feel. So it is a 1911 so you know it's going to have a pretty awesome trigger. Uh, this one, as you can see, is skeletonized, which is kind of cool. And uh, that is all of your take up right there. Just that one little bit, it goes straight to the rear, and then boom, breaks. That is freaking awesome, guys. Um, what else? Let's see. I, I don't know what else to say about the trigger. It's, it's a very easy press, very smooth press and I don't think you could really mess it up. So, good job Kim Kimber. It's not a straight trigger, it, it does have a curve in it, but it does press straight to the rear. All right, so purpose of this gun. I'm gonna have to say, well, this, this gun for me is about the closest thing to a safe queen that I own. Uh, it you know for for eight hundred dollars, I'm not gonna carry this gun because it's too pretty. Uh, I might occasionally I have carried it actually. Let me let me take a step back for a second. I have carried this, uh, and it would look really really good in a nice quality handmade leather holster. So if you're into like a super classy. A type of look for your carry like maybe on open carry day you know you want to show off around the barbecue or something cool yeah go for it this would be a great gun to put in a nice leather holster around the barbecue you know show off to your friends and family absolutely but everyday carry gun I don't think so not so much uh, and one reason being that it's huge and heavy the other reason being seven or eight rounds of 45 ACP is just not what my ideal um, carry choice. They, they do make these in a nine millimeter. That might be a better choice. So if you get the nine millimeter version, you get at least a little bit more capacity. It's still gonna be a big heavy carry gun. So I'm not gonna go with the recommending this as a carry gun. Uh, range, range gun, fun gun to take to the range and plank with. Absolutely. I love shooting this gun, man. I love taking this gun to the range, letting my friends shoot it. Uh, it's just a joy to shoot. And like I said, it's just pretty. Um, it's a cool gun to show off to friends and uh, shoot at the range. Very accurate, easy to shoot. Um, so 
that's really about it. I, I'm not going to recommend it as a home defense gun. Um, I guess if you put night sights on it, maybe. But again, the limited capacity kind of makes me hesitate that on that note. And then also, there's no rail on it, so there's no way for you to attach um, a weapon-mounted light. So not the best for a home defense. Um, and then not really a car or truck gun either because like I said, it's $800. I mean, this would th it would break my heart if someone stole this. It really would. Um, I, I don't, I, I think this is really a, a take out and show your friends kind of gun. That's about it. It's a take it to the range and have a good time shooting with it and then put it back in the safe kind of gun. That's really its only purpose. Was it worth the eight hundred dollars or seven thirty that I paid for it? Yeah, I, I would buy it again. Uh, just know that you're you're only gonna get that out of it. You're, it's gonna be a gun to have. It's not a gun to carry. It's not a gun for home defense. It's not a gun to stick in your car. It's just a gun to take out, shoot with your friends, and then put it back in the safe. So there you have it. That is the Kimber Custom 2 1911 and 45 ACP. Awesome gun if you just want to have a quality 1911 that you're just gonna take to the range and shoot and show off to your friends. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Head over to affordable-armory.com and pick up some merch to help support the channel. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook where you'll see our behind the scenes stuff and what we've been working on lately. As always, thanks for watching.